Hi, I'm Emily Howard, Editor-in-Chief of American Painting Contractor, and we are out here in Phoenix, Arizona, where we're going to work with our partners to remake one contractor's van into an efficiency machine. Welcome to Fit Your Whip. All right, let's start by meeting our expert group of organizers and upfitters. Hi, my name is Bob Snow. I'm a regional sales manager with Adrian Steel, a company that's been making van interior equipment for over 50 years. It's very modular, so you can kind of make it your own and tailor package it as you need to. We've got an engineering team, so we know that we're bringing customers the latest and greatest. It's going to fit with what they do, and it's going to last as long as they have their van. My name is Michael Miller. I'm the branch manager for Commercial Van Interiors here at the Phoenix branch. Commercial Van's been in business since 1985, and we have 17 branches around the country, so we're a very large upfitter. We like to look at ourselves as business advisors, so when someone brings it in, we actually advise them on how to do their outfit to make it most efficient for them to operate their business. So the faster they can do a job, the more money they make and get on to the next job. And next we're going to meet our contractor. He's no stranger to the pages of APC. He's been a winner of top jobs for many, many years and is a great example of what it is to be a craftsman. I'm Steve Adix with Adix Painting. I've been painting here in the Valley for 19 years. What I've learned is once you have the trust of the homeowner, they want you back and now you're painting all their surfaces. When you do interior, exterior, drywall work, stucco work, to gear up and carry all those things, in a project, the band has to be kind of like a little warehouse to a point, but then we get into efficiency. My stress is changing out the equipment. Things have got to come in and out in an orderly fashion. There's always ways to, to improve on that. Another mind, another idea, um, to learn something. Hey, how are you? I'm Michael. Michael? Steve. Nice to meet you, Steve. Steve. Welcome. Meet you. What do you got here for us today? We have a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Quite a bit of stuff. <laughs> My typical work van set up the way I've been doing it for 19 years. Okay. And uh, looking to try to streamline and rework it so we can be more efficient. All right. Well, this is Bob Snow. He's a rep hey, for I'm with Adrian Steele. Adrian Steele. Hey, good yeah. to meet you. Good to meet you too. All right, Bob. So what we do is we fill out this form to see what you want, what you have, what you don't like, and what you think can make it better. All right. That'll help you get the next level. Great. The way I've got it designed is to where I can grab quickly from each door. This is to stop things from falling out. And then on the other door, I have the access to my hand tools, the battery operated, right. the maskers. But the key is to have accessibility, accessibility, right? So what I see here is you're limited. Probably knocks down your efficiency a little bit, right. more than you would like. Right. There's just those days where, say, I'm bringing in the big pressure washer or a bigger sprayer, and you're loaded. And if I didn't think ahead of time, it gets overwhelming. But Clamps and stuff like this, they just use them all the time. Same with your caulking guns over here too. Caulking guns. Are you using every single one of those at every job or is it one at a time? Well, no, there might be four different caulks going on one project, hence all the caulk guns. Okay. I think a lot of our end users have a hard time of letting go of carrying every single thing that they have because they don't want to get to a job site and not have it. But what they need to take a look at and examine is what's the opportunity cost of carrying everything. So you may have everything that you might need, but you also are digging through that much more stuff and it's wasting that much more time. It's kind of a give and take thing. It's not all a negative. Oh. Now your ladders are changing depending on the job? Correct. And why do you have your ladders inside your van, may I ask? Never put a rack up on the top. Okay. The van didn't come with it, so it was like. Well, we have a special treat for you today. <laughs> we'll be putting your ladders on your roof. Well, that's that's awesome. <laughs> You're getting brand new, state-of-the-art Adrian shelves in there, uh, in the drawers and storage units. They're going to be a little bit different than what you have now, so you have to reconfigure some of your things right. and see if we can't get you more space inside to work. Beautiful. Yeah, having that extra space will will be great because. You know, time is money. Well, we got a great idea what we're going to do here. We're going to get the guys here to start taking apart your van. Right. And uh, give you a good outfit. All right, Michael. Perfect. Now, let's get to it. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye.
They're going to take a while to unload it. He's got a lot of stuff in there. He does. Very surprised. He's <laughs> one of the fuller ones we see. Yep. He uses a lot of materials. I think that comes from the same place where you see that passion, too. He's got all those special tools that maybe other painters aren't carrying because he's definitely somebody that cares and wants to do a good job. A way to begin the process of getting more organized is to really understand the 80-20 rule. What 20% of cargo that you're carrying, tools and consumables, are you using 80% of the time? But then also looking at the heavier things they carry, putting that in a more ergonomic position, because what we really want to promote with our end users is better efficiency and better safety. I think with, with the ladder rack, we'll be able to get those ladders up out of the way, move some of that big stuff out of the aisle space. And even though we're maybe throwing in a deeper shelf, it's still gonna create more room because we can put more of those bulky items up in there as opposed to them just sitting in the aisle. Space. That's gonna be important. Different way for him to, to go about his business, but I think it's gonna improve the storage yeah. capabilities quite a bit. He's gonna find out he's got a lot of extra time on his jobs after we're done. We look forward to see a smile on his face when we're done. Oh, can't wait. Let's go get it. All right. Okay, it's been an exciting day out here in Phoenix, Arizona. Steve has had a meeting with the organizational team. They pulled everything out of the van. And in our next episode, the new products come into place and Steve is going to see his made over van. So don't miss the next episode of Fit Your Whip.